gore. We took off the old shingles, uh, cedar shingles, then we, we made sure all the decking was, was securely attached to the house, then we put the house wrap on, then we took off the old trim, replaced that, and now we're going up with our cement board siding. Um, and we'll go all the way up to the top, finish one, one side at a time, and then move to the next side. So we'll finish this north side and then move around to the east side, which is the front side. Sides and back gets 100% cement board lap siding, and then the front gets a combination of cement board shake and cement board lap siding. See here, you'll notice this piece of felt sticking up here. Yeah. So behind every joint, we put a piece of felt, which hardly anybody does. But, you know, if you just think about it, this siding here only comes up an inch and a quarter. Right. So then above here, there's nothing. And water can penetrate this so the crack. So the felt comes up how, over, over the this piece. Of this one, yeah, that? yeah. So if water nice. ever does get behind there, it just flows on the felt and comes out. It comes back out. Comes out the bottom. So that's we put that on every every joint. And I like that. We have put new trim around the existing windows, nailing the side and the head trim into um, the frame of the window. And we are gonna come back and replace these three windows here on the north side, because the old are deteriorated, there's single pane glass, the glazing uh, needs to be totally replaced. But we'll, we won't replace the entire window unit, we'll replace just the sashes only. And that can be done either from inside or outside. And the nice thing about that is it doesn't impact the inside in any way. You don't have to remove any casing or uh, mess up the interior space at all. You just pop, take off the side tracks, the balances they're called, pop out the window sashes, put in new balances, new holding trim, new stop, and then the windows and you're good to go. So it's a quick, quick and easy process. It's a good solution that the, the window industry has come up with. Today we're finishing up the siding on the north side of the house. Uh, we just have a couple of little detail areas to finish, one here above the porch and a small area in the back and then we'll be done and we'll, we'll uh, prep this for, for weather seal after we're done here and then it'll be ready for paint. But we did take the time to lay out the whole house. This is the first side we're doing. So rather than just randomly coming and starting at some point and moving up with our siding, we laid the whole house out. And we used a reference point, we established our reference point on the driveway side, which is the most viewed side. Plus there was some fixed points that we had to work off of on that side, so it made sense. 
but then we used our laser and transferred that layout line around the entire house so that the bottom edge of this siding will line up with the bottom edge of siding on the other side of the house, on the south side of the house. And that's that little extra time can make a huge difference in the overall appearance of the finished product. So here, um, where the, the top of the concrete slab is for the front porch, interfaces with the vertical corner trim on the house. And this is a situation where you have an interface between two dissimilar materials. Here we've got the composite corner board and the concrete, and we don't want the composite corner board to be in direct contact with the concrete, so we leave a, a, a gap around the edge of the concrete, and then we'll come back and seal that so that there's no, uh, no touching of, of the the trim board with the concrete and that just that makes it last longer it's a better job and then you'll see all this gray area around here that just we we prime all of our cuts um, and and as well as as back priming that just makes it that seals it makes it last longer and a better job and you see this white white line here that's uh, a white sealer that we put between the two pieces before we we butt them together We installed this five unit window here this morning and it, the windows were shipped individually so we had five individual units without any casing or sill nosing. But we installed the windows individually and connected them together uh, in place. So we put a, a two by four on the outside and at the top and at the bottom so that we could slide our window out tight against that, the blocking. And then we would do that with one window take the next window, slide it up to it, clamp it together, then shoot it both inside and out with the corrugated fasteners and that acts to pull the two sashes and give it a good tight fit. And so we did that on all five windows. Then we secured the window to the framing, took off the outside two by fours, and then of course in the process we, we would check and make sure that everything was aligned properly and we were able to start trimming out the outside window, putting on the sill nosing first, then running the side casing. And then we had to do individual mall casing on the outside, joining together each, each window. All right, another week in the books here on Ridley Circle Indicator. Uh, at the end of the previous week, we finished up the, the shingling on the top, so now this week we've been able to focus on more visually exciting Things. We were able to finish the stucco on the front entry, which we had left just to concentrate on the, on the shingling. We moved over here. This had been a, on this front porch area here, there had been a window here. We pulled the window, took off all the siding off the house, enlarged the opening, installed a new double LBL header to take the weight um, of the second floor and the roof above. Then we installed these twin or this double hung outswing French door, uh, installed the, the lock set, and now the homeowner will get this primed over the weekend inside and out because on, on doors you don't want to leave them too, too long uh, in an exterior environment without having some ceiling applied to it. Then we moved around to the north side of the house, tore off all of the existing cedar shake siding on the main level. We uh, secured any loose existing sheathing that's on the wall and we covered it in house wrap the whole side including the new up above we tightened that up. We took the trim off the windows, existing windows on the main floor and cut the sill nosing off and installed new PVC sill nosing. That's an area that frequently uh, is the earliest part of the window to deteriorate. So we cut that off, put new sill nosing on, put new composite trim around the windows, and ran all new composite trim on the corners and up on the eaves. And then we used the cement board siding and sided the whole side of the house. And we also installed a twin double hung gable window unit on, on the top floor. And, and we prepped the whole entire surface. Uh, we like to do that 
That's typically a painter's job, but we like to do it because it does have some uh, weather sealing uh, implications, so we like to get that done so that the whole, whole side is, is complete except just for the, the painting. And then now we're moved around to the second floor in the back. We had a, a, a five unit window to install. So we'd, we worked on uh, footings in the basement. We had to do some supplementary footings. Early on in the job, we had a, a, a major load bearing footing towards the back of the house to install. And so we did that before we began construction upstairs. And then the, we did three more additional footings towards the front of the house, but they weren't critical to do right away. Um, so we did those this week as well. Homeowner is involved in, in uh, substantial portions of the project, and he's gone around and drilled holes in the upper portion of the main floor walls, three inch holes. Then he brought in some loose fill insulation, rented a blower, and he blew insulation in all the exterior walls, because typical of a, a 1940s home, there was no insulation. All the, all the windows, when we're done, will be insulated glass, so that, that'll really help in the, in the heat loss. And this afternoon, we'll start siding the back of the house. And if we have time, we're gonna take down our scaffolding here on the north side of the house and set up on the front of the house, which is the east side, so that next week we'll tackle all the exterior finishes on the front of the house. This is Rowan with a shave. <laughs> I actually do have a face hiding behind my scruff all the time. <laughs>